The softball mocks are leaving way too many runners in scoring position. They're struggling to keep leads, among others. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing all around. They're right there on the doorstep of doing some serious damage. Just tough to do it against the team that hits the best in the SOCON and UNCG. Fans back at Frost. Hey, that's my buddy Corey, best SID in the country. It's his birthday today. Got to give our dude a happy birthday shout out. Where else would you rather be than Frost Stadium on a Sunday? Kaylee Snell says, uh, Snell, yeah, baby. Great piece of hitting from the freshman. A little slap at the base to the left. We got runners on first and second. Mocks down one. Emily Coulthard turning on the Jets. But look at, this, look at Snell there. Fantastic base running. Distracts the second base, but everyone's safe. Bases full of mocks with one out. Courtney Ball needs a girl. She ropes one out the center right over the head of the center fielder. Get that shoulder loose, Frank. Send him, baby. Two runs scored. Chattanooga back on top in the fourth. Liz Rodabaugh looking to do her part, and she absolutely did. Just a great play from UNCG's Delaney Cumbie. Got to give credit where credit is due there. Tip of the cap to you two. But like we said, the mocks in these later innings, trouble holding leads. The Spartans cash in on the, in the fifth. There are five runs up on the board. They would add one more in the sixth and shut the door on the mocks with a series sweep with a 10 to five win. Nothing left to say, but blow the rear view mirror off, mocks. We're looking forward. All you could do, Auburn coming to Frost on Wednesday should be a fun one at 4 o'clock.